Hmm. Hopefully you can hear this. I'm not sure the volume will go through. <laughs> um, you know, sometimes the best way to, to deal with things is to laugh at things. Um, I was just going through a lesson. I'm an online teacher. I'm not talking about, I teach online. Um, and one of the students, the last one, I was very kind of like reactive, but at the same time, I guess the way those, what I find about the whole, it is hypocritical, but it's not out of blame. It's just like saying that it's like, you know, that's the ego driven world we've lived in, um, where, for example, in, in terms of like uh, education, for example, they want classes to be structures to be like this way and this way. It's all very, you know, grammar based. And what I'm doing really is this is so very Eris of me. <laughs> it's very Libra. I'm just giving it to them because that's the part of the whole system. They want to give corrections. So this is what corrections is. Even if you give corrections at the end of something, it's still going to be corrections. Um, because it, 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 it implies in a subconscious, especially import, more importantly, at a subconscious level, that when, like at least for me, when I get corrections, even if it's after the whole lesson, it feels like, huh? You know, I think they don't see corrections. People, a lot of people still don't see the corrections. When you say corrections, it's like you're trying to correct as if there's something wrong. The moment that comes through, it feels like a correct. It's the correction is a correction. It's the same energy, right? So, I'm kind of worried if this is not recording because I don't see the volume going up and down. But anyways, um, so I'm kind of just giving it to them. That's the way I see it. I know that sounds very like, <laughs> like. It's very Eris. If you are, if you guys are familiar with the astrology stuff, and there's Eris as a dwarf planet called Eris, she's like that. She's the goddess of discord, and this is very much, especially for certain Libras, we do this. It's like you ask for it, you're gonna get it. Meaning, but we're just kind of like pacifist about it, kind of just like, okay, here you go. <laughs> right? It's not trying to put anyone down it's not trying to ridicule anyone it's just like okay well okay it's kind of like repurposing neutrality you know i know that sounds weird but it's like it's it's not about apathy either i think it's just more like okay we'll listen to the absurdities of the choices that people make and, you know um and i have to be honest because i was just kind of like I was doing the corrections, but in you know the middle of class. But I realized that apparently I was supposed to give it at the end. I think it's just in the grand scheme of things, when it comes to like earthly stuff, it's um. It was. I don't know how to describe this. It's a lot of the rules we have as humans is absolutely absurd. And this isn't out of judgment at all. It's absurd because it is absurd because it has no, like, why would you have, for example, why would you have something simple as like, why would you sell packages? You know that thing people say, like the whole, what is it? When you, when you buy scissors, they're in like packages that's hard to open. But when it comes to light bulbs, they're in like flimsy little boxes. It's like, I don't get it. You know, something simple as that. And if they're going to sell, but the thing is, that's the whole thing, right? It, it's very, it's, it's just a lot of, it's from the age of Pisces thing too. But the point is, it's not about blaming. It's, oh, this is because of that. It's like, we all have a choice. We have a collective choice. All those things. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so the sense I'm getting now is that eventually I'm going to have to 
go back and I did not go back in jail. I'm definitely going to have to find a way to teach my own way. Um, but it's very, I, I don't know how to do it without being too, like, I mean, there's already controversial stuff, but I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't know. It's, um, that's the thing about being human. So anyways, what happened was when I was, he was like getting angry. He's very emotional about it, and I could sense his energy right away. And I tried to like sense him, like, where is that coming from? Like, why am I, why am I also, why am I also feeling that heaviness in here? Like, I could sense, sense the energy because it was like. Then I just like went with it, and I drew. I brought my attention down into the body right away. I didn't even hear half of what he was saying. After all of that, I wasn't really listening in. I wasn't trying to, and then it apparently eventually like dissipated as we kept going. Um, so, um, by the way, it's also helpful if you kind of do things that are physical to let out the trauma. If you ever get a, tr you know, cause the trauma is all rooted in childhood. The first trauma was basically being born. So trauma is something familiar, but trauma is a sign of change. It means that you're going through transition. You need to have trauma. Well, you, ex trauma is a natural thing. Actually, a lot of people are <laughs> like wondering, it's natural we're supposed to feel it well yes but it's also a learning experience and for me that learning experience right now is um like there's a part of me that definitely wanted to be like why don't you shut the fuck up and let me ask the questions because i'm trying to understand what you're trying to say and he was like very insistent like he's had this very deep shadow about him that was just very like he was definitely like there was a lot of insecurity there's a lot of like inner child stuff we're all insecure to some degree yeah for sure but that his thing that he is being my triggering him caused like a backfire of triggering so i basically just said okay i'm gonna let this dissipate by just bringing whatever i can towards the body you know not bypassing anything not all that stuff but I could definitely still feel the whole, like, <laughs> I've encountered that many times too. So just like, so I kept wondering today, it's like, what am I not, what am I resisting part of myself and part of myself? What am I not accepting? At the, on the surface level, on a conscious level, at least here, what is it that, what can I learn from that? I said, well, aren't emotional people good at being creative, emotional people. The gift behind it really is that emotion provide creativity, emotion provide change and creation and development and processing. Without it, there's just, just gets lodged in, right? It has to flow. So it actually happens. I, I, what happened was I was able to uh, pacify him in a way. <laughs> Sounds a little weird, pacify, like pacify, like the pacifier. <laughs> but I was like, I was able to pacify the whole thing for the most part, because I can still feel like the residual feeling inside here. And I remember, I don't know, um, but I did, what I did was I decided to be proactive about it. And I said to my manager, I said, um, this is so-and-so student. Um, I don't think I can work with him. I'm just letting you know that. I mean, if you can't do anything about it, that's totally fine. I'll do my best, but letting you know right now that it's not going to work. Like, it's just, I don't see it because I, and I told him, it's like, it's hurting me. I didn't say he's hurting me, but I was like, the situation is hurting me, you know? So, cause I don't want to have to deal with that at work. You know, it's like you're working and that's basically your focus, right? I mean, <laughs> I'll, you know, <laughs> it's one thing to have kind of this kind of job where it's just like, for me, it's more about, I'm just earning an income. But though I like talking, I do get me, like I do get to talk to people, even though I don't care about their English. It's not the whole thing. That's not a problem. It's more about um, just really the connection, like getting to talk. And then some, there's some that are quite intuitive. There's some that are not, but it's still kind of interesting. You know, I, I try to approach it from a very curious perspective, like or rather out of curiosity. So... 
Um, yeah, and that's really the best way. I mean, I want to see it from a place of love and embrace it, even my own experience, how I feel about it. Even though I wanted to say, like, I wanted to wring his neck. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> it's like, you know what I mean? That projecting sort of energy. Because I wouldn't have done, I wouldn't have solved anything. And I would have already, like, lost this position. And then I have to look for another job. I mean, all that stuff, right? Um, the fear has, did come where it's like, I felt the fear just like, if I don't do this right, then I won't have this income, then I won't be able to do what I'm doing. So there's a greater purpose below, uh, way above this whole thing. This thing is nothing, right? It, And it's one thing to say like, this is nothing. It's another thing to like, really go inwards and process the whole emotion, why I felt that way. So anyways, I really wanted to share this because it's like um, another lesson for me that why it's like, well, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely attracting a little bit of this every once in a while. So I'm not, there's, I mean, I don't think you can ever not attract <laughs> or not so-called attract. I, people are bound to come your way that are very, you know, misaligned and all that stuff. And that's okay. They're in their own journey. That's where they are. Right. You see it from a place of just like, okay. Okay. Right. Whether it's this life or lifetime or the next lifetime where they start to understand where their emotions are coming from, where their traumas are coming from. And that's, that's when it happens. But I don't know. I don't know about his journey. Not, that's not for me to worry. <laughs> that's not for me to even think about. Right, so my my journey is to process this myself and heal my own way and go through things not alone, but yeah, that's kind of my journey. So, anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. Mm. Yeah, I hope this records. I don't, I hope the volume is heard here. I don't know. We'll see how it works. Thanks for watching.